bittersweet and I'm walking slow Sensitive, feel the afterglow Looking for things that I can't control Fear from my past cause it always shows Do I wanna try, can I hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is a clean and organize with me and i'm going to be doing a little bit of a house reset and restock on a couple of things throughout my house i'm also going to be doing some decluttering organizing and resetting my bedroom and i'm also going to be tackling under my bathroom cabinets just getting those all decluttered organized restocked all that good stuff so let's jump into today's video One of the things that we try to do is have a good cleaning and organizing routine that we do daily. And one of those things is making our bed. My daughter's room and made her bed. And then my son and his nurse actually made his bed. And then I went ahead and started on some laundry and got that folded and put away. It comes back to you. I have been putting off getting my bedroom deep cleaned for a little while. It definitely needed a little bit of a reset. There are actually a couple of areas in my home that definitely need a good house reset. And the bedroom is definitely one of them along with my bathroom. And honestly, I have been so busy just trying to stay on top of the appointments and homeschooling and honestly it just got away with from me so I hope this video gives you a ton of real life inspiration to get your bedroom deep cleaned or get some area in your home reset if you have been putting it off like I have the pain I feel, the things I haven't done at all I've lost my way but how I felt I can't recall do I wanna try can I let it go running from the after I got all the laundry put away, I decided to get rid of all the clutter on top of this dresser and just give it a good, nice wipe down. And then I went ahead and wiped down the lamps and the rest of the tables in my bedroom. I went with black furniture and I love the look of it, but it collects dust so bad. And so I am constantly having to dust all of the black furniture in my bedroom and make it just look nice and clean. Let me know if you have black furniture, if your black furniture collects a lot of dust as well. How often do you dust your furniture? Are you having to do it pretty much daily like I do? or? Do you tend to put it off a little bit longer?
To finish up this bedroom cleaning, I just went ahead and did a quick vacuuming before moving on to the bathroom. I hope this video is giving you a ton of motivation to get up and clean along with me. Remember, you can put this on any device in your home and clean along with me, or you can soak up some motivation for later. Either way, I hope it is giving you some kind of inspiration and you're getting some enjoyment out of it. If you are brand new here, my name is Becky and I'm a stay-at-home mom. I do love to share cleaning content like today's video. I love to share decluttering and organizing motivation. I also love to share cleaning and organizing routines and clean with me's restockings and home resetting and just all those good stay at home mom cleaning motivation type videos. So if you do enjoy this type of content, I would love if you would consider subscribing and joining my channel. It is absolutely free to subscribe and it really does help me out when you watch the entire video all the way to the end and giving giving the videos thumbs up and commenting down below really helps share this video out in the algorithm as well. So now that I am in the bathroom, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything organized, do a little bit of a house reset in the bathroom, get everything nice and reset along with decluttered. And I'm also going to be restocking a few items in here along with getting rid of any stuff that does not belong, getting all that decluttered and put away and then I'm going to finish off by getting it all nice and cleaned. I feel like my bathroom vanity gets so cluttered up all the time and I'm constantly having to clean it and declutter it and get everything put away and organized all the time. I feel like this is one of those places that is just constantly full of clutter. Let me know about your bathroom. Does it stay pretty organized or are you constantly having to, cl to declutter it and clean it as well?
was deep cleaning my bathroom, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to go ahead and do some deep cleaning on my makeup brushes as well. So I went ahead and pulled those out. This is your reminder if you have not cleaned your makeup brushes in a while and you've been putting it off, go ahead and grab those and clean them along with me. So the next time that you are ready to put on makeup, your makeup brushes are nice and cleaned. I also wanted to let you guys know, I know I've gotten some questions in the past about my organization tips and ideas on how I organize underneath my bathroom cabinet and a few other areas in my home. I usually will go to Walmart and grab some organization bins. They're really inexpensive when you catch them on sale. And I also check out Dollar Tree and stores like that. Sometimes TJ Maxx and Home Goods, other stores, they'll have their bins marked down. But if you grab some inexpensive bins, and you use those to organize all of your products. It just makes it so much easier to find them. And then also it just looks so much better as well, in my opinion. I did go ahead and wipe down my vanity and mirror, but honestly, I waited to do a good cleaning on my sink until after I was done with my makeup brushes. I just didn't want to have any of that in the sink after I had done a clean on it. So I just waited to do the actual sink until after I had finished with the makeup brushes. found this really cool makeup tip from another cleaning channel that I absolutely love watching, but they did have a really unique idea on how to clean makeup brushes and they winded up using olive oil and dish soap, which I am doing for you guys as well. And the combination of these two, not only clean sponges and makeup brushes, but it also works as a conditioner and keeps your sponges, sponges and makeup brushes from breaking and you having to replace them and it also like I said it also cleans them I do highly recommend also having a tub or something of water in your sink so that you can rinse out your brushes and sponges once you are done cleaning them so all of that makeup and oil doesn't go down your sink and run your sink so I highly recommend doing that and then once I am done rinsing my makeup brushes with the water and stuff then i will go ahead and rinse them even better in the sink but i did want to catch all of that oil and stuff in a tub instead of it going down my sink Something about you feels so different Yeah, you mess me up inside It's like your energy was kissing my soul Back to life was living Now it feels like every part of me is dying Yeah You're gone without a trace You left me where no one can find While my makeup brushes are drying I went ahead and did a nice deep clean on my toilet. I wanted to do a top to bottom clean, get all of the inside around on the floor, all of that good stuff. Make sure I 
did a good clean on all the cracks and crevices just to make sure that if there was any stuff that was missed on the toilet or fell through the cracks or anything that it is nice and cleaned and that there's no dirty toilet left at all and then I went ahead and took out the trash and then finished up in the bathroom by doing a vacuuming. I have seen on some cleaning channels where they will actually take the toilet lid off and do a deep clean underneath that as well. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am too lazy to do that. It is way too much work. I know that it's probably a good idea to do that. So if you have the inspiration and motivation to take off your toilet lid and clean that way, then that is a great idea and I am truly inspired by individuals who do that. I just am honestly too lazy to do it. So, But I do love watching cleaning channels and cleaning videos that do that because I think it's a brilliant, brilliant idea. There's no sign of life out here. I scream and it goes silent. I am just going to finish up in here by doing a little bit of the vacuuming. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this new cleaning and organizing video and you were able to clean along with me, get some house resets done around your home, get a little bit of organization, decluttering, cleaning, and restocking, whatever you were inspired to do. I hope that you were able to get something tackled today. If you do need some more cleaning motivation, make sure you check out this kitchen clean and restock right here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.